Queen Elizabeth II went on a royal tour to 12 countries after her coronation in 1953, with Prince Philip, now 98, at her side It was a grueling mission which saw the royal pair travel 40,000 miles around the world over the course of six months The Queen was still young at the time and Buckingham Palace was keen to protect her Royal reporters and the press contingent that accompanied the tour were censored by the palace on what they could and could not say, Kitty Kelly revealed in her book The Royals Journalists were not allowed to report on whether the Queen was looking tired or not Buckingham Palace did not want the more human side of the tour revealed, a royal reporter present said I couldn't report any personal details, Kelly quotes royal reporter Gwen Robbins saying When I noticed that the Queen always took her shoes off which seemed endearing and human, I noted in one of my dispatches, the weary Queen slipped out of her shoes I got a rocket from my editor saying, lay off the Queen, Buckingham Palace is furious with you Another time I wrote that the Queen looked tired, Robbins recalled of the royal tour We knew that she was bored stiff with the flags and bunting, and all that red, white, and blue every time she turned around, so I wrote that she looked fatigued like the rest of us Another rocket, lay off the Queen. So I had to stop reporting the human side of the tour Buckingham Palace was sensitive and wanted the young monarch to be portrayed in a very specific and positive light We were not allowed to write anything other than what the Queen wore and how she looked, the Daily Telegraph's Maurice Weaver said, according to the royals As the Queen became more secure in her role, the palace press office relaxed, but only slightly, explained Kelly Journalist Philip Knightley, who was on the first royal tour, is quoted by Kelly as saying, there's an unwritten agreement It's as if the palace said, you need us to bring in your readers, most of whom love royal stories We need you to tell the Queen's subjects what she's up to and what a wonderful person she is So you can write anything you like about the royals, as long as you don't question the actual institution of the monarchy When Queen Elizabeth goes away, there's one thing she refuses to travel without, another royal author has revealed Queen Elizabeth would demand Malvern water was brought on board the Royal Yacht Britannia for use in her tea, claimed author Peter Pigott in his book Royal Transport 